I have always wanted to try this. This is like Christmas for me right now. I just know that I'm about to live my best life with this one. <laughs> That's as good as a wash. So this is the gadget. It's very smooth and it looks like it's really gonna work. It's got an on and off switch and that's about it. Technically this one is called a crepe maker. I'm assuming you can use this for different things, but we're gonna try to use it to make a crepe. One of the greatest things actually is that it comes with a plate for this because I was kind of struggling to find the right dimensions for this. So we're gonna pour the pancake batter on here. Uh, this is just regular pancake batter, but I tried making it a little bit runnier, more like a crepe, but this is very much not as legit as it should be. I'm gonna switch this on and I'm just gonna let this warm up for a little bit. I think it will tell me, I think the light might switch off when it's ready to use. I should read the instructions, I just don't feel like it. I don't really know if I should just go for it. <laughs> Why am I scared of this? Should I just do it? Okay, here goes nothing. This is the best day of my life. Wait, does it just come out when it's ready? How do you cook it on the other side though? Wait, is that it? It's going to come out on its own, right? I should have read the instructions. It's smoking a little bit too much. Come on. It should have a release button. <laughs> I should have a release button. I just really want to know if this comes out on its own or... That is a perfect crepe, right? And I don't think it's raw on the other side. This is incredible. The most satisfying part is when it goes in. And now I'm gonna get rid of all the excess. Wait, I feel like I'm gonna start to become good at this. Oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> wow, this is so quick. How is he ready already? Oh my God, this is so dangerous. Oh no. Anyone want sauce with their pancakes? Ouch, double dip. No. Down the food processor. I'm gonna try to make a perfect one. I think this one's gonna be really, really good. Oh no, there's a tiny little hole on it. That's gonna bother me forever. I'm never gonna be able to get over that. At least this one is round. It does make making a crepe really, really easy. Like, you literally don't have to do anything. It's almost offensive how little you have to do. Betty Crocker did half of the work. This gadget did the other half. I'm just here for the vibes. I mean, if you really want to, I think you could cook it on the other side as well. This makes it smell like professional. Like it smells like a, like a fair or something. A birthday party where there's like a pancake crepe stand. And look at this. I mean, that literally took like 10 seconds and I'm using pancake dough and this is pretty perfect. Look, if you fold it in four, it's like being in France. You like to be in Paris? <laughs> Honestly, it's cooked, it's soft, it's perfect. This is one of the greatest gadgets that I think I've ever tried, ever. I don't think I've ever been more confused, excited about a purchase in my entire life. I only realize now that it's called Gotta Go Turtle. <laughs> 
turtle, as in turd. This is so not funny, but so funny at the same time. Oh, sorry. If I stab this neck, it'd probably still make it. <laughs> a whole lot of neck to go around. It is a turtle. It is sitting on a toilet. It is what I imagined that toys would look like in 2022. Me when I have IBS. Me when I have parasites. <laughs> so this is our turtle. It's kind of cute. I kind of love it. And it comes with a toilet. Is this a bidet? Oh no, this is just a <laughs> It's just a thing to fill it up with. My European ass jumped out. Gotta go turtled. Instruction booklet. And I love that this is a collection of toys that need to go and do bodily functions. There's a microphone? Battery compartment. Let's go. let's make sure this is all in. This is kind of freaking me out a little bit. Anyways. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be difficult. I feel like it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I need to stop this, I can't. I'm a stupid turtle. I'm a stupid turtle. Damn right you are. It's pretty simple. All we gotta do is fill this up with water. So I filled up the toilet with water. <laughs> this sounds so wrong. And this is the food that we're gonna feed the turtle to watch it just poo it into the water. I don't know what this is for. Oh, I see. This is to scoop up the poo after. So I'm gonna put the seat on the toilet. And I'm gonna switch on the turtle, which is gonna be extremely annoying, but we just gotta get through it. Is this on? Make fun of me. Hello? So here's the little food. So here's the little food. <laughs> <laughs> this actually cracks me up. <laughs> this actually cracks me up. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a pink turd in there. Gotta go, gotta go. So the poop came out and this is supposed to be the little thing to scoop it. And once you scoop it, this is supposed to come back dry, but it's not very easy to scoop. I'm kind of struggling here to scoop it. Oh, when it comes out, it's fully dry. Just like Chick-fil-A. Oh wait, they're a different type of phobic. I'm gonna try to feed it some more because I really wanted to see another turd. When they said feed the turtles, this is not what I imagined. <laughs> Somebody gonna call Pete on me. Imagine how tired I am. Imagine how tired I am. No, imagine how tired I am. Oh no, now I'm covered in feces. Oh no, now I'm covered in feces. <laughs> <laughs> this was one of the most traumatic experiences of my entire life. This is one of the most traumatic experiences of my entire life. <laughs> but I think I had fun. I think I had <laughs> Stop, I'm like, you don't stop. You're lucky this doesn't fit in here. Oh, oh look at all that food you had in you. I 
I think this is exactly the same brand they used on the TikTok. It is called the Bees Wrap Reusable Food Storage. Let's see what this is all about. That smells incredible, it smells like honey. It feels like paper that's been dipped in Nickelodeon slime. That's the best way to describe this. You're welcome. I actually thought it would come separately, but you're actually supposed to cut each piece. So it comes with three different sizes. This one might actually be the right size. I'm gonna go with the smallest one. I think this is the same size of the jar that they used in the video. Let's see if it works. Do we need to cut this or will this be fine? It's a little bit too big. Let's give it a haircut. Let's give it a trim. It's so sticky. Look what happens when you try to cut this. I think this would... No, this is still too big. Okay, this is a little bit better. I think this will actually be perfect. I'm just gonna do exactly what they've done in the video, which is pouring some juice on the mason jar. And I guess this is like a more sustainable way to wrap your food, even though most mason jars come with a lid, so I am confused about that. We gotta make sustainable choices so that Kylie Jenner can keep taking four minute flights to the pantry. So we're gonna pour the orange juice. And now using the beeswax, we are going to, I guess, just wrap around it. Okay, first of all, this is really cute. This is giving Winnie the Pooh. It's giving fairy tale jar of honey. It really does stick. It's got a really tight grip on the mason jar. It's got a tighter grip than Taylor Swift on me every time she releases new music. And that's tight. This is the ultimate test. You could make butter with this. We just butter away. You could store this upside down. <laughs> this is like a legit product. This will stay in my kitchen. This is, there's so many uses for this. If you prepare food where you want more of a better vacuum on it and it's a more sustainable option and honestly it wasn't even that expensive. So 100% approved. I bet removing this will be so satisfying. I don't even know where to start. Ooh. and it basically stays exactly the same way that it was originally. This is a great product. Thank you, TikTok. This simple little Amazon find has totally changed up my kitchen. Grab a bag of these adhesive rolling feet to add to the bottom of any of your appliances, and you can easily move them around your countertop. These are completely concealed, so you can't even tell they're there when they're on. But they're perfect for mixers, coffee pots, and so much more. They're linked to my Amazon, and I hope you love them as much as we do. This was surprisingly easy to find. I found this with next day delivery. Okay, so this is interesting. Why does it come with these tiny little balls? This is the actual device. Some of them come put together, others don't. So these are the tiny little wheels and it comes with like sticky bits. So you attach this sticky little part to it and you can attach these wheels to anything. Let me try it out. I should attach this to my shoes. No, no, no. <laughs> we all thought it, actually, only I thought it. So this came with a total of eight and it comes with just sticky parts, I guess. I don't understand this. So this is the wheel and this is the sticky part. We're going to test this out on an actual kitchen appliance. It would be great to be able to move. Okay, this kind of moves. So let's see how much this would improve my coffee making life. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this sticky little bit on here and then you remove the sticky bit on the other side. Let me think where should I place this in the coffee machine? Maybe one in the front, one in the back? Oh, it's kind of got a place for it already. Okay, so right now, this adds a lot of height. Uh, maybe we need quite a few actually. So I'm gonna add one more on this one. So my idea of only having two, I don't think it's gonna work. We're gonna need at least three to balance it out. Okay, okay let's see. <laughs> when I expected my coffee machine to move, I didn't expect it to be like the Titanic. 
All right, so let's try to balance this out. Okay, so the problem is the bottom of my coffee machine is actually very irregular. It's got like these little crevices and stuff. So, okay, once this is in here, it doesn't come out. How can we balance this out? Wait, I actually can remove this? Okay, this is very difficult to remove. Oh no, now the whole thing is... <laughs> it just went down the drain! <gasps> oh no! It went down the food waste. <gasps> Should I press it? Oh no, that's gonna sparkle. We're just gonna pretend that that never happened. So um, let's try to balance the coffee machine. <laughs> my brain is rotten, honestly. I don't know why I make such poor decision making in my videos. I'm not that bad in real life, but if you watch my videos, you'd probably think that I'm rotten. So we need to balance this out. So I'm gonna do two in the back to balance this out completely. This starts to get expensive because you need quite a lot of them and some of them might go down the drain too soon. Somewhere in the ocean, a dolphin just got a piercing. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really funny. <laughs> a dolphin just opened a clairs. So I'm gonna put a little one in the back as well. So this is immediately way more balanced. Okay, I'm gonna put two in the front right here. And I think this will be enough to balance the whole thing. So this is kind of what we call it. So this is the ultimate test. It doesn't even move that well. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to like, just launch the coffee machine across the room. Like someone asks me to make them a coffee and I just go, just make it yourself. This actually makes sense. It's not what I'm expecting, but this makes sense because obviously you don't want your kitchen appliances to be moving all the time. So this is just a good amount of moving. And this is like a marble countertop. And I will say it does not scratch. I think there's a scratch here, but that was me on a low moment. Personally, I don't find this very satisfying, the gliding aspect of it. I wish it was a little smoother. And for that reason, it's not giving for me. It's actually taking. It took from my bank account. And that as well. It's a little unbalanced. This is some McDonald's English McMuffin breakfast maker. This is professional. This is skinny. <laughs> Wait, this is a game changer. Are you kidding me? That's how excited I am. I'm gonna be driving around my neighborhood. All right, not that excited. This is a really cool gadget. This is how I imagine the McDonald's makes their breakfast muffins. But if you've ever worked at McDonald's, feel free to crush my dreams in the comment section. But this is exactly how I imagine that my muffin is made. We're gonna try to do it similar to what they've done in the video. I just wanna say that this feels expensive. Like it feels like it's really good quality. So this part I think was up and they started down there, I think, right? Okay, it's bubbling up a little bit, so I think this is ready, so we're gonna spray this with non-stick. We're gonna add our English muffin. Okay, this is gonna get toasty really quick, so we gotta move on quick. To this, we're gonna add the cheese. If I don't break this into pieces, this is definitely gonna make a mess. Okay, we're gonna have to break the cheese into four. Next up, we're adding some bacon. This is already cooked, so, you know. We trust the gadget, just not that much. Wait, this looks so good. You see the bacon kind of sticking out there? I think they also use some avocado, but we're gonna skip the avocado part. So we're gonna put this on top. Wait, this is really cool. We're gonna use a little more spray. And we're gonna crack an egg into it. I really wanna believe that this will cook the egg. Wait, why is the egg going down? Why is it dripping? It's dripping on this side. I am so confused. Why is this happening? What's going on? Okay, I'm just gonna put the 
Wait, do I put the bread now or after? I think now? Wait, but then it's gonna drip even more. I'm so confused. So in the video, they actually put the muffin in this stage with the raw egg and they just close the lid. I have no idea how this is going to work out. This is the right settings. I just don't understand. Kind of dripped on this side but it also dripped on the other side. Definitely not as clean as they made it seem. I'm setting up a timer to see how long this is going to take because I'm suspicious that this is going to take way too long. As long as he leaves. Hmm, let's try that again. How long? I don't know, until the egg is cooked. It's been around three minutes and it's make making a whole lot of noise. Okay, this looks cooked, I think. Nope, not yet. It's kind of raw on top and cooked in the bottom. And also the bread is submerged into the egg. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? Cause that doesn't look right. This is gonna look so stupid once we get it out. Should we just risk it? I mean, this is the moment that I really wanted, which is letting the egg come down. Wait, can I check the bottom layer? Ew, look at that. All that stuff comes out. I'm just gonna do it. Something is definitely happening in there. We're just gonna have to hope that this is cooked now. Wait, this is the final reveal. This is getting very complicated and very, very hot. Struggling. This is very confusing. Like the whole thing is confusing, but the biggest revelation will be... Oh. So this is officially our egg sandwich. <laughs> Cause the bread kind of sank into the egg. It just looks really weird. Like if you see this from the side, it looks like egg on top of bread, but then there's like a hidden muffin slice on top. It is really, really strange, but you do get a round egg. I don't even know. And this is really weird to use. Like they deserve an Oscar for pretending that this was smooth to use in that video. I'm gonna keep it super real. Like this is a mess. <laughs> It literally spilled from every possible corner as well. <laughs> we should have just waited to do the top slice. If we had done that and we waited for the egg to actually cook, I think that would have been fine. The egg looks good, but the bacon is a little bit soggy. It's just, I'm not sure about this whole thing. I'm still gonna slice into it. Okay, the egg is cooked, so that's good to know. <laughs> so the bottom is definitely on the toasty side. The top is on the eggy side. It does look good in the center, it is cooked. It's just a little bit silly, the fact that the egg is around the muffin. But other than that, this does look like something that I would eat, but also that I would make a lot quicker in a single frying pan. All I needed was a pan and a lid and I would accomplish this. Oh, I love my egg bun. It is good. Maybe if you have kids, I think this would be fun as like an experience once in a while. I don't see myself using this every day, even though I will keep this machine. I will keep it around. It might come in handy to make some, maybe bagels. I could make a bagel in it. Do you think it fits a bagel? I have to rethink the egg bread situation though. This is the coolest thing I've probably ever bought. It's so easy to make ice. And instead of having to sit there and try and get the ice out every time you want it, you just squeeze it. So here we've got the ice maker slash bottle. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was pretty expensive, but then when he arrived, I really like the design of this. I feel like this is made really, really well. I can't explain exactly what it is, but it's a very satisfying product. I think this was like over $20, and I'm gonna say that it was worth it. It feels worth it. So I filled it up with water, I put it in the freezer, and I guess once we pull it, that's how you make the ice balls. I don't know if we need to open the lid or we can just pull, but we'll find out. I'm just gonna pull it. Wait, I need to open the lid, that doesn't make any sense. I kind of love the satisfying ice sound and I like that you can twist the lid and it just twists on the little strap. Let's make some ice, I guess. Wait, the ice on this side didn't fall off. 
It's almost there. I don't know if you can see, but half of it has been done and the other half is still here. Why is the ice not coming off? Do you see how some of the ice is still in there while the other one on the other side is gone? Even though we've popped both sides, right? It's still in here. By the time I get all the ice cubes out, the whole thing is gonna be spring water. I'm just gonna give up on those three pieces of ice because they're just not gonna come off. I really like the movement. I wish every single piece of ice would have come off. That was kind of disappointing, right? The fact that there's three stuck in there, it really bothers me. This is supposed to be very much like a satisfying kind of product. Maybe I overfilled it on top or something. Maybe I've done something wrong. So the ice is basically these very satisfying like spheres. It is really cool. So you can get the ice out into a cup, but this is what makes this product really exciting is you can pour in here anything you want and it will be a nice drink. You could pour in here your coffee, you could pour in here a drink. And as you can see, it just starts to fill up on the side. And then if you put on the cap even if it's like a carbonated drink i feel like you'll be fine and you've transformed your ice maker into a bottle i mean this product was expensive and for that reason i feel like it should have worked a little bit better but i just realized i didn't wash it <laughs> I think this is a really good product. I think there are a few different brands that do this specific design. If you Google it, you'll find like hundreds of people who do it. I would say find a different one. Get one from a different brand. I feel like this one, the ice is still there. Like it's still in here. Four pieces of ice are just not coming off. I approve the idea. I think this is honestly genius. I just think my specific product, I expected better quality from how much I paid for it. I found this at Target. It says you have 1 in 24 chances of finding real gold if you manage to reach the center. One in 24 chances of getting real gold. I have fought more difficult odds in my life and I'm here. I got this off Amazon and I'm pretty sure this is a scam. My specific one, I'm not talking about the one you can buy at Target. It's got a little label, but also, why is this wrapped worse than like a sandwich that you take to work? Someone already took the gold out of here and left just sand. Wait, why is there sand coming out already? This has literally been opened before. It says on there, one in 24 boxes has real gold in it. And I'm assuming that on this little box, we've got the tools to dig for our gold. Wait, what is this? There's a diamond? I am so confused. No one told me about the diamond. Wait, one in 24 boxes is a real diamond? How did I get two for the price of one? Oh wait, that's why I paid extra for it. Oh, so I have two in 48 chances of winning. Wait, I don't know if that's how maths work. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the gold bar. the police is coming to steal my gold. A lot of people say that they're not lucky, like when it comes to like the lottery and just in life in general. I'm completely the opposite. I think I'm really lucky. Things just happen to me in weird ways that I always feel like I get really lucky in many situations. So this is our bar of gold, which actually is just sand. So I'm assuming there's gonna be gold on the inside and it comes with the tools as well. Me looking for the gold like. Okay, don't use a good knife for this. That was a mistake. Wow, this is a lot of sand. Why can it not be like Cheeto dust or something that you could just bite into? There's gonna be sand all over my kitchen now, but this is our gold bar. Can I just break this in half? Cause I do not have it in me to wait. These tiny little tools, they're not cutting it for me. We have a lot of things to do in this video, guys. I gotta use real tools for this. Oh, my neighbors are gonna kill me. How do we do this without making noise? Maybe if I put like some toilet paper underneath? Maybe some styrofoam. Okay. I've officially broken into the gold. Oh! <gasps> 
Is there something on this side? That's not gold. Is that a cube of turkey? <laughs> so this was on the inside. It's kind of like, a, is it a rock? Yep, it's giving rock. Maybe the gold is inside the rock. Let's see what happens if we break. Nope, my neighbors are just gonna come and complain. Oh wait, this is rose crystal. It's a crystal. I'm so disappointed. We're gonna do the diamond one because actually I would prefer to get the diamond one over the gold just for the fun of it. Oh, it just goes sending my eye. Sorry neighbors, I am looking for gold. My neighbor's gonna be like, who lives upstairs? Indiana Jones? Wait. It's got something in there. Oh, that's a big ass diamond. Give me my diamond. Oh no. It's giving rock. Me when I go to a Metallica concert, thinking I'm going to see Olivia Rodrigo. Oh no, I definitely ruined my kitchen. Was it worth it? Um, it's a rock. And I would go as far as say, it's the same rock. It's a rose crystal. I am so done with rose crystals. This better give me some magic powers or something. On the inside, we had another rose crystal inside the diamond. Not even with an extra chance we could make this work. I want my money back, TikTok. See yeah. it? See what? The wrinkles. Okay. Wait, what are we spraying? Okay. Right, so we just spray mm -hmm. it on. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. I hate that I had to buy three of something that I don't even know if it's gonna work. I guess I have one dollar off on my next purchase. Capitalism really popped off. This better work. I think this is exactly the same one they used on the TikTok, even though there are different variations of the same product. I'm testing it out on a dark t-shirt because I feel like this will be the best way for us to see. Cause like, do you see how you can really see the wrinkles on this one? So we're gonna focus on this area here in the bottom. So I think all they've done is spray and then stretch, gently tap with your hands kind of thing. This is going to be the before just so we can compare and see if it actually worked because sometimes it works best when you watch it back. Imagine if this is like life-changing. Imagine if you never have to iron your clothes ever again. One, spray, tug and smooth with hands, hang or lie flat. So, I mean, it's quite a big area, so I need to put, oh, it smells. So let's start smoothing. No, this 100% works. But the t-shirt is a little bit wet now. Wait, I didn't even do the top bit. I should have done half-half. I mean, that is a huge improvement. And I wasn't even doing this with extra care. I would say this actually works. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see on camera. Obviously, the bottom is not perfect. But if I did this one more time, I think I would actually get this as good as it's mostly the edges, so let me try to smooth out the edges. I don't know what's in it. Maybe it's like a super glue or something, and then it just stays. It dries pretty quickly as well. Maybe I wouldn't use this on like 10 pieces of clothing, because that would be kind of annoying to have to be smoothing this out. But for a one-off occasion, or if you're going on a trip or something, I would say this is pretty good. Right? I'm trying to give you different lightings on it so you guys really see the difference. I'm so glad we got the before shot to compare it with because this works. This is so smooth. If I was wearing this, it looks like I just finished ironing it. I'm not mad that I bought three of these instead. This is some real magic. Like he was on top of me and I'm, lo I, I'm looking at him in his eyes. And I don't see... I'm like, oh, I was dying.
I was dying to hit that spot right there since 2008. I don't even want to hear judgment why I bought this because I am the audience for this. The amount of times that I was reading something on my phone and I wished I could be eating something while someone else was holding the phone for me. I might have even looked it up on TaskRabbit if anyone provided that service. Feel free to drop your CV in the comment section. So this is the strap and I guess it goes over your head. This is a lot bigger than it seems online. It's gonna come up to here. And this is a little holder where your phone goes on. So, oh, it's, wait, it doesn't even twist. This is not very safe. I'll tell you that much. So this little thing extends for you to put your phone on. I love it already. This seems like I would actually use this. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Oh, Ooh, that is a terrible angle of me. I am not showing that. So this is a little bit awkward to use. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't really fully get it. Oh my god, I almost fell off my chair. <laughs> I mean, you could use this to call someone. You could use it to go on Netflix and just watch something. But most importantly, and this is the use that I really care for, you could use this while you're eating something. Like that would be the genius use of this. Imagine you're watching a show on Netflix and you're just like... Now imagine someone knocked on your door and you're like, oh, I need to go get the door. Easy, you can eat a snack as you go to the door. <laughs> or imagine you're just watching your favorite TV show. It's great. I love this. Like lying on the sofa, I feel like it would make this even better. This is the ultimate test. This is really good. <laughs> this is actually perfect. I just wish I was watching something interesting and not looking at my crusty self. This is not the entertainment that I want to watch. I think the person who invented this deserves a Nobel Prize. You can really bring it up here and just like bring it close to your face or you can keep it down if you want to keep it low key. Like let's say you're waiting at the bank. You're like, might have a look in my email inbox. Might have a browse on Reddit. Might check the gossip website. De moi. <laughs> it's not the tightest bond between the little gadget and your phone. That is the only downside, honestly, because this is a genius product. I mean, it just is. You could even use this as a tripod. Look at the way it stands. There's so many uses to this. 100% approved. This is a great product. The biggest inconvenience with frying is dealing with the oil after, and this product is supposed to solve that. Fair warning that if you try this product, nothing will happen until the oil is around 100 degrees. But after it reached that temperature, it fully solidified in around 6 minutes. Then I was able to fully scrape it off the pan with a spatula and throw it away. So we bought it, and this is what mine looks like. I think there's a few different brands who do this product now. So I'm not sure if this is exactly the same one from the video. Here we've got some hot oil. This is basically the same temperature that it would be if we were making fries, chicken nuggets, whatever it is. And to this, I'm going to add the little powder. It comes in this little sachet. It says, turn off the fire immediately after cooking and add the powder when the oil temperature is above 80 degrees. Stir well until the powder is dissolved and leave for one hour until it hardens. We'll try it. Imagine the oil starts splashing everywhere in my kitchen. This has to be kind of toxic, but so am I. <laughs> Match made in heaven. Why does this have nutritional info? Anyways, so we're gonna add this. I thought that was gonna splash for a second. So I'm gonna dissolve this. Wait, I'm gonna remove this from the heat because why is this still hot? Is this still working? I'm gonna add another one so you guys can see how it dissolves. I was kind of scared the oil was gonna splash. Pretty much dissolves instantly. Look, it just disappears. And now we're supposed to wait for an hour for this to cool down. And once it cools down, it will be much easier to clean up. Never thought I needed this in my life, but I am willing to give it a try. That is exactly what we were promised. It's kind of... It's not too solid, actually. Let me not get too brave here. I wonder if we're going to be able to scoop this out the way they said we would. Because I don't know if you guys remember, on the image they said we could fully remove this as a disc. But I don't think that's going to be the case because on the video, they couldn't do it. Oh my god. Wait, why is it kind of stuck in the bottom? Do you guys see that? It's stuck. I can get everything out. 
But the stuff in the bottom, this kind of made a mess. And like, this is the weirdest texture I've ever seen. Ooh. Wait, because this is actually worse. Look, I can't clean this. No matter how much I will try, this will not clean up. This is not what I was promised. I'm like, I could have just dumped the oil in my toilet. I don't know. Where do people dump the oil? No, I'm going to have to scrub this, which I wouldn't have to. Also, is that a pregnant dinosaur looking at a tiny little cat? This was going so well. This is a big no. I love doing the dishes. At least we know how breast implants are made. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. How is this something that I didn't even know existed in the world? This is a brownie bite pen. It makes 20 miniature brownie bites. This is kind of genius. Instead of making one big brownie and having to cut it, you can make 20 in one go. I mean, I want to believe that this is going to taste incredible, but I will say one thing. Occasionally, I will enjoy a crispy corner brownie, but most of the times I actually prefer the ones in the center. I always thought that everyone else always wants the brownie in the center and all the corners. So what do I know, though? There's some hot glue in here, but it'll be fine. So I'm going to spray each little brownie hole. So I've got some brownie batter and I think the most difficult thing here actually will be to spoon this in a clean way. And how much exactly do I use? Okay, was that too much? This is not the easiest job in the world because how much goes into one mini brownie? Like how many are we talking? I really gotta concentrate here to make this as even as I possibly can. Okay, once you get the hang of it, you kind of almost do it in one go and it becomes a lot cleaner. So I don't know if I'm gonna have enough batter to make so many because I might be overfilling this. So I only had enough batter for 14, I think. It might be because I overfilled this. We will soon find out. I don't know, how are these gonna get out of here? Even though I spray these really, really well, I don't know if this is gonna work out the way I want it to work out in my head. So I'm gonna bake these for a lot less than normal brownies. I would even guess maybe 10 minutes only, maybe a little bit more, and I will show you the result. So we got the brownies out of the oven and they actually fully cooled down because otherwise there was no way we we're gonna get them out of here. This kind of ended up being exactly what we were promised. Every single one of them, it's basically like a corner brownie, the crunchiness of the corners. My only concern is, are they gonna come out of here? Because this is, oh, they feel so stuck. <laughs> it's gonna be the downfall of this one. It's like a brownie, but it's just the corner. Look how shiny and crispy it is. And look at the top bit, like the way it is crunched. It is literally like the perfect corner brownie, except it's just corner. There's nothing else. It sounds crispy as well. And also this is really satisfying to get out of here. I was worried they weren't gonna come out, but I think it might be just fine. You have to be gentle for sure, but they do come out of here almost perfectly. Look how satisfying this looks. It's like brownies in Minecraft and like the shine on it. I hope this tastes as good as it looks. It's so crispy, but so fudge in the center that even if you like a soft brownie, you would love this. Yes, this is very much approved. I would go as far as saying this is life-changing for me. So it comes with instructions and batteries, which is important. So you kind of open it like a flip phone and then you slide this up and that is where the batteries go. I bought all types of batteries for this whole video because mistakes have been made before, mistakes are made now and mistakes will be made in the future. Wow, that should be my graduation quote. Oh wait, I never graduated. <laughs> I think I did the batteries correct. I don't know why I'm scared of this. Careful. Do not touch this. 
So this is the gadget. I don't know exactly how it works because everything is in like Chinese. Okay, so if we slide this. Oh, wait. So when you press this button here, a razor comes out. I don't know if you can see, but that is a razor. Why would you need a razor? Anyways, I don't understand how this works. Okay, wait, it's got the instructions in pictures as well. I'm so scared of this razor. This is very scary to use. So on the TikTok, they had a Ziploc bag with liquid in it. I don't really understand why they were separating that. I guess it's to show that it works. So I'm gonna do the same thing they've done on the TikTok and I'm gonna add. Am I gonna be electrocuted with this? How many volts is two batteries? This does not seem like a good idea. I'm so scared a razor is gonna come out. Should I just try a little bit here on this corner? <gasps> That made a hole in it. I don't know if you guys can see, but he made a hole. That defeats the purpose. Wait, should I actually be wearing plastic gloves so I don't get electrocuted? I don't know why we're trying this with liquid. Why? I don't understand. This doesn't make a lot of sense, but. Oh, wait. Okay, that kind of works actually. Do you see how it goes around the liquid? So let's fully divide this. I guess this is the best way to show that this actually works. Oh, I heard sizzling. I mean, I guess this is to show how powerful this is, so you can see the difference between the separation. I'm more interested in an actual practical use, which would be sealing this once you've already eaten some chips. How would you do this? Would you seal the top? Probably, right? Is this working? I have no idea whether this worked or not. I mean, I guess it kind of did. And you can definitely reopen it. As you press it, it also creates tiny little holes on the back, so it's definitely not perfect, but this is a fully empty bag of chips that I ate earlier. So I'm gonna try to trap some oxygen in there. Wait, I'm gonna shout a profanity into here. Okay, now that we've shouted a profanity, I'm gonna try to do this slower so it's a little bit better. Oh, it smells like burn. I don't know if you can see, but I tried to do a tight seal and look at what happens to the air. It still escapes. I don't really know what the use for this is, to be honest. You can close a bag of food if you just don't want anyone else to go and eat it, but you can vacuum seal something with this. It's really difficult because there's too many spaces in between. I'm gonna say, if you have roommates who are eating your food, this is a great way to know if someone opened it or not, because you can definitely close it, but you cannot create a vacuum. So don't buy this and then be upset if you get bacteria in your food because it's not the most reliable gadget. It also smells like it's going to explode at any minute. First of all, I think this is the same one from the video, but in a different color. It comes with a little brush, I guess, to clean up the machine after you use it, because there's gonna be a lot of powder here. And it comes with the blades lost in there. That is definitely safe. This passed the health and safety regulations with flying collars, if you're colorblind. So this is the little gadget on the inside, and it actually comes with an extra blade. So when this blade, I guess, stops working, or maybe it's not as sharp, you can actually replace it. It comes with a little brush so you can clean up and pick up all the stuff. I was under the impression, I don't know why, that this would be portable. And that was one of the reasons why I was so excited to grind my own coffee beans in my car, pull up to Starbucks drive through and flex my fresh beans. But it's actually electrical. So you have to plug this into the wall, which will be fine. If it still works, I can see a world for me to use this in my kitchen. I think this could be useful. So I bought some almonds and these are basically already peeled off and kind of chopped actually to smaller pieces. So I thought a good use for this would be, for example, to make your own almond flour. I don't know if this machine is safe. The plug is sparkling a little too much. This is why these sheen gadgets are like, one of them is gonna take me. There was literally a giant flash with the plug. I don't know if it's because I'm pulling it weird. Electricity can go through plastic, right? 
I'm so scared right now. Let's figure this out. So this little gadget is not the safest electricity wise. I'm kind of like struggling here. All my filming lights keep on switching off because of this. So I don't even know if this is gonna explode. I'm, I can't move it too much guys. So we're just gonna have to show it from here. So this is the machine, right? So I'm just gonna put some almonds in here. I don't wanna go too crazy. So we're gonna put the lid on. Is that it? So this is the amount of almonds that I'm trying to blend. I don't think I'm being too ambitious here. I'm actually being pretty generous with the machine. That is incredibly powerful. Wow, it also smells like there's gonna be a small fire in my house. Wait, that was so quick. This almond flour is like thinner than the one you buy at the store. Do you see this? It's super thin. It's a literally like store quality one. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The whole machine smells like it's burning, but it might just be because it's the first use or something that is basically a tiny gadget. This is pretty impressive. I could have taken it further. I was just scared. And they really thought of everything because in order to clean this, you really need this tiny little brush to get all of the bits out. I think this is a really clever product and they really thought about it. They should have just hired an electrical department. You can actually kind of use it again. I mean, there's a bit left there, but the brush does a good job. So in the video, they tried blending some chilies so i got some dry chilies and i'm gonna try to make my own spice blend with this can we even put a whole chili in here we will soon find out i now believe that this will be able to get the job done <gasps> cannot scratch my eyes and if i go to the toilet i have to sit down we can't run any risks here no holding the tool directly after touching these seeds these are california chili pods i don't even know if this is particularly spicy I've never transformed chilies into a spice, so I don't even know if this will work. These are so tough. I will be very impressed if this gets this job done. Look how tough it is that I can't even stuff it in here. It's like a demon trying to escape. Pandora box. You can't really see the chilies, but they're in there, so I'm just gonna press it. Interesting. We might need to get this under a little bit or something. I don't even know. Didn't they use chilies in the video? I'm so confused. Hmm. It's giving buying a knockoff Nutri Bullet on Amazon and regretting it the next day. Oh, wait. I just need to find a position to put this in. I'm just going too ambitious here. I just need to chop this up into smaller pieces because these are so big. Oh, it smells like a fire in here. And this is how I get kicked out of my building. Okay, here's the result. You can really transform this into powder, but the bigger chunks, the ones that are a little bit tougher, they don't really blend. I mean, maybe if I was really insisting here, you can definitely make your own spices with this. You just have to remove these bits that are not really blendable, literally a total of like four, and you're left with actual spices. I mean, that's pretty impressive for a small gadget. It definitely doesn't replace like a food processor, like a serious food processor, but like for tiny little things that you might need it, I think I approve of this. I think it's pretty good. My baby was very obviously eating raspberries this morning. Watch this. It's called Miss Mouth's Messy Eater. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You guys all saw that, right? I can't even fully pronounce this. It's Miss Mouth's Messy Eater Stain Treater. It's a full mouth. But if it works, I'm gonna forgive it. This is exactly the same from the TikTok. So let's put this to test. I came prepared with three different types of stains. Stain number one, and this is a real one that I really want to treat, is a ketchup stain. Stain number two is an orange juice stain. And stain number three, which I can't even see it on camera, 
it's a coffee stain, which I guess ended up not being that bad. But from far away, you can kind of see all three stains that I prepared. I'm not that messy, I just did this artificially. It's not that far off from reality. <laughs> this is the one that I really wanna treat, which is the ketchup one, because it's very visible, and I think it's kind of similar to the one in the video, and you can really see it, so I just wanna watch it disappear. This would make my day. Also, me to my mental illness. So in the video, they just sprayed, and it literally started to disappear instantly, so... Let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. Now we wait for it to dry. This smells toxic. So according to the instructions, you can rub if it's necessary and that might help out. It kind of smells like ketchup, but not really. I don't know. Maybe? It's not perfect though. I can really see the stain still. Oh wait, something is happening. Do you see white in the center? Wait, it's coming off. <gasps> is it coming off? I am colorblind, so this is very difficult, but I definitely think it's improved. I'm gonna let this dry naturally, and then we're gonna see before and after if this actually worked or not. So it's been around 20 minutes, and this has just been sitting here. It's almost dry, and this is the result after 20 minutes of drying. It's definitely better, and I really wanna do a side-by-side -side so I can see how much difference there really is with the stain. I think this product might be good for kids, which I think explains this. It literally says a parental essential. No one really cares if kids are covered in stains. You will still see the stain, but I definitely think it helped a little bit. I just don't think this would work for me. Like if I really had a stain, even if it was smaller, and this just made it a little faded. I don't really get the point of this. Either remove the stain or I'll have to put on a new t-shirt. So for me, I don't think I would use this. Maybe for like carpets and stuff like that. Even then, if this is the after, you can still see it. I mean, I still got a box full of gadgets from TikTok to test out, but I feel like that was a lot for one day. So I am just gonna post this and hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, I will go through the rest of the other TikTok gadgets that I bought because I loved every second of this experience. So if you wanna watch the part two with the rest of the gadgets, you know what to do. Just give the video a like, leave a comment down below. It kinda helps me to figure out which videos to make next or if you just want something different, which is totally fine. Don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on so you don't miss out on future videos. I love you guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I will hopefully be doing a part two very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>